Okay, let's start by firing up MATLAB. Pull that down a little bit so it gets in the screen. <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully you can see that. And I'm just going to go ahead and start a new script because the script will be a little bit easier. If I make a mistake, I'll just change it and keep going back until I get it right. So first thing I want to do is I want to put in my X values. And my X values were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And then let's put in the Y values. And they were 5, 7, 15, 12 and 17. The reason I'm putting these in in a column, I'm making them a column matrix. Yeah, okay, put a little space there so it's easy to see. Okay, let's plot that. Uh, oops. I'm always making mistakes. Okay, let's go ahead and. Uh, We'll run that. We'll call this. Uh, put this in. I'll I'll upload this uh, on the website so you guys can get at it. And class four, and we'll call this uh, class B square. Okay. Let's and we'll, we'll go ahead and run that. Oops. So I see it's not really what I wanted. I wanted to show the raw data. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, I didn't really want. Uh, so I'll have to go find that and close it so I can let's get rid of that. Okay. Okay, let's try again. <clears throat> okay. That's more like it. So I want to least squares fit this data that I have right here. Okay. So let's continue on with our quest. Uh, the other thing I want, I want the axis... Uh, I really would like it to go from 0 to 5 and 0 to 20 because otherwise it puts in these random uh, values and I don't like that. So do I have that right? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm going to say hold because I'm going to put my least squares over top of that at some point. And then A1 is the matrix that we, we took, talked about. Okay, uh, whoops. So I'm just creating a two by two holder, okay, for that. And then I'm gonna create a for loop, i equals one colon five, it's my five data points. It indexes it for me, so I have a one of uh, i comma one. So that first column will equal my x values, uh, x of i. Okay, semicolon, and a one, of i comma two, the second one, uh, as we saw, equal equals one point oh semicolon, and that will pretty much wrap up that. So now I just need to do my multiplication, okay? And I need to have inverse. Oh, okay, that was a check. Let me just see. Uh, let me just go ahead. I'll, I'll create a variable uh, R, which will be my A and B term. Inverse A1 transpose. And they use for the dot product, they use that that's multiplication times. And it just, it, you don't have to do this, but uh, I, I put it in parents uh, to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so that gives me the A and B value. And then I'm going to go ahead and create two endpoints. T equals um, 0, 5. So those are my two endpoints. Okay, and then Y1 will create, this is going to be my line that I'm, I'm kind of creating here, will equal R of 1 times T plus R of 2, okay? Those are my A and B values, okay? And then I'm just going to go ahead and plot T comma Y1 comma. And now I want a straight line. I, I want it to just fit it. 
and I put a semicolon there. Let's just go ahead and do that. I think I've got everything there. We've probably got a mistake in it. We'll find out in a second. Uh, and voila, no mistake. <clears throat> okay, so that looks pretty good. So let's do a second order system uh, just for fun. We'll go ahead and do it, make it a second order system. Okay, so if I do a second order system, I am going to, let's see, I need this to be weird. Okay, and then this two will be x of i. Okay, and then a one of i comma three will equal the 1.0 semicolon so let me just check that so it's a squared the next one so you had uh ax squared plus bx plus c okay so it's a second order system it's going to give me a, a curve fit for this the difference here is my t has to be hold on let's see point one it has to be a continuous system so we'll just make it continuous at point one intervals okay uh to make this work and then R1 will be times T dot squared plus, oops, got the plus, R2 times T plus R3. Okay. And does that look right? I think that looks right. Let's just, squared, okay, that's got plus R, there's no dot needed there, R3. And then we'll just plot that. If it's wrong, it'll it'll blow up. Oh, nope. There we go. And there's a second order, okay, system, okay, that I can plot there. So, I mean, I could do a third order, too, because I've got enough data. So then this would become to the third power. This would become squared. This would become x of i. And then a i4 would be 1. That would be, well, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. So what the heck. Okay, so this would be 3, this would be squared, this would be x of i, and then I would have an a1 of i comma 4 equals 1.0, that's the last one. <clears throat> okay, and so, yeah, we're, we're living, living large right now. So let's just go ahead and put... Uh, R1, this is going to be third power, then R2 times T dot squared, R3 times T plus R of 4. And provided I didn't make any typos, I think that's okay. And there's the third order system. So not too bad. Uh, that's pretty good for tonight. Uh, so I'm going to add this to the other video, and that's going to be the last video I do tonight. It's 1230, so it's starting to get late.